This week on the Hall Home Build, we selected our bank that we'll be doing our construction loan with, finished all of the pre-construction steps for our driveway, and made major headway into our drafting phase. In this video, I even share a sneak peek of our house plans. If you're watching for the first time, be sure to check out my previous videos for phase one and two. All right, today is Friday, April 17th, and just wanted to share kind of an update of what all happened this week on the Hall Home Build. So we selected the bank that we're going to be um, doing our loan with. We've, we've been pre-approved. Uh, really now all that's left on the financing side of things is to get this drafting done, which means like our final house plans where it's an itemized, um, detailed summary drawings all that for the house plans uh, because the bank needs that to be able to close on the loan so um, that'll probably take us about a month or so to finish those plans up so um, but everything else is in line for our financing we've been pre-approved we've submitted all of our required documentation and um, just some little tips on that if you are um, applying for the loan some documentation that they're going to need are tax returns bank statements, if you have any assets or properties that you own that you'll be using equity, um, they'll need you know statements from those. Those are just a few little things. But, um, but anyway, that is in line. So we've selected our bank. Um, they've been super, super helpful, the girl that we've been working with. So we're really excited to work with her. The second big thing, we finalized our total maximum budget for the house. That was like one of the things, of course, we had to do. So we got that finalized. And we um, signed our contract with the builder, our custom builder that we're going to be using. And we have basically paid our deposit, which is the drafting fee. So um, I, I mentioned in one of my first videos, we opted um, to work just with their in-house drafting team as opposed to hiring an architect. Um, we saved about half the cost on that. So just based on the phone calls and people that we have talked with your drafting fee is about a 2% fee of your total budget for your house build so whatever your um, the cost of the build is 2% um, of that is your drafting fee so we had to pay that up front we've done that and signed our contract um, whereas architects um, some that I spoke with are anywhere from about 4% so really double the cost so we were able to save quite a bit of money on that and we have already gotten some preliminary um, plans that we've we've kind of sent some ideas to our builder of what really is at the top of our wish list and he's put together some provisional plans for us and then we have another meeting with the builder on Monday um, to sit down and go over some more details of the plan so this is kind of the exciting stage that's about to start is where we um, you know, finalize the layout of the house. We'll be talking about all the details of the house from floor to ceiling. So um, I'm really excited about this design phase and, um, you know, just a, a little nervous about that to see how it's going to come together. Because, you know, if you're buying a house, it's not like you just walk in and you know, look at an existing house and say, or, or a spec home and say, okay, I like this. I don't like this. Um, what about this? Like we're literally creating this house from nothing. And so it's, it's an exciting process, but I, I'm still very nervous because, you know, you never know how your ideas are going to come together until it's all done. So excited to see that. And um, the, another thing that we did this week, we met with um, another excavation company out at the property yesterday. We're just trying to get some, um, at least a couple bids for the driveway because living on a mountain, um, your excavation cost and driveway cost is a pretty significant part of the budget, um, which goes into the total budget. So we're just trying to get some comparison rates there and um, hopefully we'll be selecting our excavation company, whoever's going to be doing the driveway, hoping get not finalized um, by next week. And then the time frame on that to get the actual driveway um, cut in, which means they're going to have to remove some timber, um, a lot of digging out dirt. They've got to lay down rock. So um, that will most likely be a, a probably a month or two process because it'll probably take at least a few weeks before they can even get started. And then it'll be another few weeks um, until it's finished. So that we expect that to be about 
one or one or two months somewhere in there and then hopefully during that time we'll have our plans done and then everything goes good we may actually be breaking get, breaking ground as early as july or august of this year so um that's really all that's happened this week um as far as the driveway i did have to make several phone calls to our property owners association then i had to talk to our um the the county's building or community development department who then transferred me over to the highway district so there's been a few different calls i've had to make uh, we had to get a permit and get that approved to be able to put in a driveway so that was one thing that we also did this week and so again now it's just finalizing um, the bid on that selecting who we're going to use as our excavation company and then once we have that we'll go back to completing the easement with the neighbors and i mentioned that on my last video so if you have questions about an easement and driveways and all that fun stuff go check out the last video um but that's kind of where we're at not not a whole lot of fun stuff to show this week just some um important steps of this process so um i guess the next update will be on monday is when we meet with our builder again to start working on some uh, more design plans and get the drawings going so um, happy monday it's 420. We are headed to meet with our builder. We got another meeting with him to discuss some more design plans. Really our two main goals for this meeting is to finalize the cost of the site development. Uh, they went out last week to, to look at just the site, um, the driveway. We're going to get the bid on that. So that's the first main goal is to finalize the cost of this driveway and site development from the builder's bids. And then second goal, we've been working on some layouts for the house. And so we're trying to finalize at least like the layout and room placement and square footage. Um, so that's really our two main goals today. And hopefully if we can accomplish that, then we can actually start working on some more of the um, designing phase to get those plans finalized and also hopefully make some decisions about who is going to be doing the driveway so we can get started on that hopefully pretty soon. yesterday like all day it was, it was originally supposed to be about I don't know a two hour appointment but we just got to designing and working on the layout and we were on a roll so the builder was like let's just keep going so we stayed there all day and we we're probably like 95% done with our house plans like everything we've got measurements room sizes layout of everything like we're pretty much totally done with the entire house plans which is crazy we're way ahead of the game um, the only thing we didn't get yesterday was the final cost of like um, the driveway and site development so he said but he said he'll have that for us this week so everything is going so fast we should um, if everything goes well and can get people lined up we should be able to start the construction of the driveway and the site development man probably within the next couple weeks um, really the only thing preventing us is we've got to finish excuse me we've got to finish getting um the easement recorded so everything's good legally there but that that should be pretty quick um so yeah i mean it's it's very possible we could be breaking ground within a couple months and everything's like done this is crazy so our next um our next like homework phase is shopping they said they gave us the vendor list they said you're ready to go shop now we need your selections just as soon as you can get them so 
gave us a vendor list of everything from like you know stone and um, backsplash and tile and faucets and appliances like all that so that's gonna be a whole lot of fun to be able to shop for that I'm a little nervous just because like you you see stuff and you're picking out like one thing at a time and I'm a little nervous about seeing it come together because you don't you know know how it's gonna look till it's completely finished but I think it's be so cool like we were able to get pretty much like most of you know what was at the on our wish list um, there's a couple things we'll have to sacrifice of course but overall we're just like so freaking happy with the layout I'm gonna show you all the building plans um, I'm not gonna give away too many details though because I want to leave some of it for a surprise but yeah I'll show you guys um, the building plans all right, I thought it'd be fun to kind of take y'all through a layout of the house. Um, this is kind of our latest version, and I'll kind of walk you through the house without giving away too many details. But basically, so this, there's going to be a few different dimensions, but it, overall, it's going to be like an L shape. And if you're at the property, this would be the road. And this would be front of the house, obviously. And then the back of the house will be facing the back of our property. And so that's kind of like the overall shape of the house. And all right, kind of take you through here. So come into the front door. This will be a little landing area and then, or entry, whatever you call it. And then if you go right down this little short hallway here into the master bedroom is where we'll have our master bed. We'll have our closet off of here. Um, we decided to do just one space, but have like kind of his and her closet. So we'll each have our own side, but one big closet. And then for our master suite bathroom, we'll walk in here and then we'll have like our two sinks on either side. I'm gonna have a little vanity makeup station. And then we'll have our walk-in shower here with bathtub. And then I've always wanted a big window in front of the bathtub. So we'll have a window looking out there. And then we'll have like this little separate area for toilet for privacy there. So that's the master suite. Um, come back down this way. So front door again. Here's our living room area. So we're just going to do like a, um, like a big open space here for living room and kitchen. Going to do a fireplace on this wall. And this will all be open. And then this will be like our island. And then kitchen going around here. So pretty standard shape I would say for a kitchen but just big open space. This will be patios back here. So we really wanted like an indoor outdoor type living space. So that's the back. We'll be probably hanging out the majority of the time out there. Let's see here. It's a living room. Then you're gonna walk down this hall and you'll have a hall all right here. So if you go to the left, or actually, hold on, let me back up. Right here, there's me a door. This is gonna be pantry and then kind of a little short divider wall here but open to walk through and we'll have our utility area washer dryer and then here's our mechanical room which stores our hot water heater um i don't actually know what all goes in here but um and we decided to add a little exterior door here that way if we're dirty or muddy it's kind of like also a dual purpose as a mud room that you can walk straight into your laundry room so all that is, um, there's gonna be like three separate compartments, but it's all one big open area. And then, so come down this hall, take a left. This will go into one guest bedroom here. And so again, this is facing the road. Um, closet, come back out. This will be the guest bathroom. And we're gonna do two sinks, that, and then a closed off toilet and shower. That way, if someone does need access to sink, they've got privacy here. Here is going to be bedroom number two and closet right there. So then you'll go down this hallway and I'm really excited about these two things. Somehow we were able to squeeze these in this floor plan. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get an office, but we're gonna have a little bit of space here to do what's called a pocket office. So this is actually just gonna be kind of like a an open doorway. There's not, there's not me a door, it's just me open. So I'll have a little pocket office here and then, and we'll have some windows down this hall. And then Dave is going to get his man cave, which is what he really, really wanted. And it's going to be cool too. It'll have like a sliding door from the inside. That way, um, like if 
let's say he's playing music or whatever, wants to disappear, um, he can slide that off and then that'll give him some privacy from the rest of the house. So that's really our house. It's just, um, you know, one story. We definitely didn't want a two story. Um, oh, one more thing. We are, so the slope of the land goes down like that. And so because of that, there's two things we could do. Either they could build soil up on this side, which from, from the left side to the right side, it would be about an eight foot total drop. So it would be quite a bit of soil to have to build up and level. Or we could use the slope and build down underneath. So it, the cost came out to about the same. So we're like, why not get the extra space? So what we're gonna do is called a daylight basement. And for now we're just gonna do an unfinished basement, but basically that's gonna go under the master suite and that's gonna give us a like a ton of storage. And we're gonna actually do the stairs from the exterior because we didn't wanna take up like an entire hallway and waste that space just for stairs. So um, daylight basement will be under the side of the house. And then over here, this whole section is our guest suite. And so it will actually have its own entry. So this will be the door. This whole wall will be blocked off and it's gonna be a thick wall for soundproof. And so basically we wanted complete privacy for whoever's staying here. Um, and actually this is where my mother-in-law is gonna be living. And so she has like her, it's like an entire apartment for her, but it, it is connected to the house, which saved a ton of money by doing that and sharing the same you know, foundation, sharing the same roof, etc. We saved a ton of money, like literally at least half the cost by doing it this way attached versus doing an entirely separate um, structure on the property because then you have to run a lot more utilities and water and it adds up very, very quick. So this is kind of the cutoff. So for hers, um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna go over this layout because last night we redid it, but it's gonna have its own entry and also her own patio, but in the guest suite we'll have um, full bathroom, kitchenette, bedroom, living area. So it's it's um, roughly gonna be about 550 square feet. So very, very cozy for a one bedroom apartment um, and has everything you need. So anyway, that's our layout. We're super, super excited. Um, we're, other than this that we kind of rearranged last night, we've got to update those plans. But for our house, like we are literally like done with our layout. So, um, next next stage is shopping we have been released to shop and go pick out like all of our um fixtures lighting um tile appliances backsplash stone like you name it so we're ready to go shopping baby i'm so excited this is like the most absolute fun part of the stage so we'll check you in the next video Thanks for following along. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, you can click that little bell for notifications. When I post new videos, you'll get an alert if you wanna do that. Um, if you've gone through this process before, I would love to hear from you. If you've got any tips and tricks and design ideas, like whatever, drop them in the comments below. But we'll, we'll um, catch you on the next video, which will probably be some of our shopping phase. Talk to you later.